So you guys got together 10 years ago? Whoa, holy. Right? Going back. Well, that, Maybe. It's yeah, kind of yeah, seems, right? Like eight and a half, nine. Eight and a half, yeah. eight and a half nine. Nine and a half, ten. What, what year is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't count the year. Yeah, it's I think been it was like 2000, yeah. Yeah, 2005 or six when we really started like yeah. writing and performing and mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And what yeah. made you guys want to start that? Oh, we really liked music initially, yeah. and that's the and then we happened to play a little bit together and loved singing together and um, because singing with Ashley is such a treat. Oh, thanks, David. You're an angel. And then Jeez. and then um, yeah, Dave Vertesi saw us play and was like, these guys could be good if I like organized them. Yeah, so yeah. he was like, do you guys need a guitar player or a yeah. bass player or whatever? And then he um, jumped on as our bass player. And then the rest is kind of history, as they say. Cool. Had about seven drummers. Yeah. But yeah, we really enjoyed music, and yeah. that's why we wanted to be in a band. Sweet. Um, uh, so you. You've gone through obviously ten years in the industry. You've gone through your own record label, another yeah. record label. Yeah. How would you say the industry has changed for for a Canadian artist in the last ten years? How has it changed? Well, obviously the whole internet thing. Yeah. Happened. That thing. That thing. Yeah. Uh, I think you know like different means of getting your music out there has just exploded. Getting I don't know, YouTube like didn't it wasn't a thing when we yeah. first started. Sure. And um, I don't think we had a music video for years until important to do that and have like a face behind the music right right but yeah it's still changing right yeah the streaming and trying to figure out how that all works for the artists themselves sure. and stuff I sure. think there's a lot of I don't really know what the latest is but yeah just in figuring out how artists get paid for streams and how yeah. what percentage is work how that all works out basically it's always kind of changing and shifting yeah. and yeah. trying to but I think streaming is the kind of the future of in terms of Distributing the recordings, right, 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 or getting getting people listening to the music. It lets you and connect with your fans too. Social media. And oh all that, yeah, right? definitely. That yeah. Will, yeah, it's definitely changed in that sense. You can have a direct kind of conversation with your favorite artist yeah. if you want to. So, you have, that's like it's way more that connection is way more meaningful. Yeah, and that wasn't around in the five, right? So no, yeah. no, it wasn't being used. To yeah, I think there is. It's, MySpace, where yeah. my, like MySpace was a Back big in the thing old right age. in the beginning. Yeah, it's oh, crazy. Yeah. It's insane how much has changed yeah. in the last yeah, yeah. ten years. Oh, like, if you yeah. really think about it. Yeah. Yeah, and all the different, yeah, just sort of social media outlets and yeah, yeah. ways of accessing music. So it's a constant, like, it's like a river. We're all just on a ride down this technology true. Yeah, yeah, it's true. river. Where is it going to end? Occasionally, it drops fruit from overhanging branches. Other times it seems like there's none. Sometimes you're drowning on your raft. To drown, drowning. Sometimes yeah. the raft flips on top of you yeah. and you keep coming to swim up, but your head hits the top yeah. of the raft. And okay. Okay. Hey, this is a crazy an analogy. Yeah. It's pretty weird, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the salmon are swimming upstream and jumping go. and they're biting your face. Um, uh, how does it feel, so being on the flip side? So obviously, 10 years ago, mm-hmm. you're probably downloading music, right? Streaming music yep. as you get into So now you're on the flip side of it. How does that, you know, are you like, ah. Uh, are you torn about it or? No. I think it's a great thing. I think it's so amazing how much music you can access these days. Yeah. It's like you can, anyone can access whatever type of music they're into by the click of a button. And it's like you can create your own, like, uh, what am I looking for here? You can create your own, like, playlist. Uh, playlist, sure. Yeah. yeah. And you can, it's, it's incredible that, that people can just access music and find out, like, music that you didn't even know existed bands that are, you know, live in Norway or Iceland totally. or wherever, sure. and that you can just listen to this amazing music, whereas like in the past, you, there's no way that music would have ever hit your ears in any yeah. way, so in that case, it's a, such an amazing thing, but... There's definitely like a conflict, I think, with like the amount of um, money that uh, that artists get and figuring out what's, what's fair in terms of with streaming and stuff, yeah. um, but uh, I think that's kind of working its way out a yeah. bit. I think though the fact that people can access music, as Ashley said, so easily is a real positive as well. So yeah, yeah. Canadian artists all struggle, like even at levels that are people filling theaters are still still sometimes struggling, sure, yeah, yeah. you know, because it's expensive to be in a band. It's yeah. really costly to tour, and it's costly to just maintain gear and to rent rehearsal spaces. I mean, everything comes into that. So yeah. you know, being on the radio, people have this idea like, oh, your name's your name's out there, and yeah. like you're probably 
driving it. a Ferrari <laughs> or something, but like that know, wasn't yours. I thought no. The no. Ferrari wasn't mine. Yeah, we all have our own actually. Because <laughs> we take separately to gigs. Yeah, so enough. I use car to go. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah, it's like ever changing, and we're all trying to wrap our heads around it. the music industry. I think is still, is trying to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, what's happening? Yeah. How do we do this? But ultimately, we love making music. We feel sure. really, really kind of blessed to awesome. be able to do this job. Yeah. Hashtag blessed right. <laughs> to be able to do this, yeah. and it's great. So, awesome. you know, end of the day, yeah. we're getting to write music, yeah. and people get to hear it, and that's a real honor for us. As as musicians, do you are you almost inspired by other musicians, not just by their music, but by their ability to almost navigate the river, so to speak? Yeah, sure. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Some people have it. Dial, like, or yeah, it's like, cool when people do new things, especially like Tom York released his last record on a bit torrent. Yeah, you know, right? So or like YouTube, just like yeah, infiltrated yeah. everybody's yeah. computers. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of creepy. That's that a bit weird. That was very creepy. Yeah. It's like a bit presumptuous. Like everyone's gonna want to hear this. Well, it's like I have no memory on my phone, but I have a brand new album. Yeah, it's like the only that album. Was weird. That, yeah. How did they yeah. do that? That's weird. Right? Yeah. yeah. I love how some people were just so upset about it. Yeah. Like, oh, how dare you? Yeah. But um, yeah, there's tons of different ways to get music out there. Yeah, people are constantly surprising everybody. But, yeah, music listeners. And I yeah. think it's always yeah interesting to see how you can get your your music out there. Different ways, different, and different angles you can take. Who do you who so who do you admire in that? In that. Um, I'm trying to think of who's like really innovative. Well, the, like you said, Tom York, Radiohead, Radio Stench, something like that. Yeah. Uh, the inverse of that is like um, what Neil Young's been trying to do, which is to take it back to way better recording quality or yeah. sound quality, away from like MP3, but a better, sure. better version of the digital, better sonic quality of the yeah. digital thing. I don't know if it's going to fly, but he's. I just respect that human being a lot. So. Yeah, absolutely. Not. Well, yeah. there's like the Beyonce route, too, just being like, boom. Like, Here's a brand new video. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, it takes a certain like star quality sure. to do that yeah. and have people pay attention. Yeah. But yeah, like just releasing it randomly one day and having like a whole video series that goes along with it. Yeah, yeah. I really respect, too, like... Um, Louis, Louis C.K. for like what the five dollar the beacon theater. Yeah, everything's through his site too. Yeah, like if you want yeah. tickets for the show, and that's like, I mean, again, it takes you. You, he's built himself to a certain platform where people know who he is, and he's got this fan base, and then he's not attached to anyone else, and that's like a real success story. He's yeah. not like he doesn't have these other companies that are, can be beneficial to bring right. you to a place, but they're ste- they're not stealing. They're taking a lot, yeah. a big cut of your income and if you're able to do that yourself like what a treat like, yeah. it's all your art and it's all your organization and then you're reaping 100% of the benefits totally that's so amazing yeah. like I don't know you have that business plan too it's so yeah you gotta have you know, a lot of artists lack that I'd say yeah some of them have or like all. or like the drive to yeah. like organize that much for sure yeah. very cool yeah. um, uh, and so you've you've played festivals you've played you played the great cup parties last Last time they were making uh, a couple years Yeah, ago? yeah. 2011, I think yeah. it was. Yeah. And then you played uh, My Little Pony conventions. I played oh, yeah. Brony. Oh, we did that yeah. one time. Yeah, yes. we were touring in the that. States and we got an offer to play this Brony convention in yeah. Houston. And it was crazy. It was crazy. How do, I, how do CFL fans compare to Bronies? Are uh, they Brony fans or are they just Bronies? Sorry, what? They're Bronies. They're bronies, bronies, just Bronies? I mean, yeah. Well, that was the convention that was, yeah, Bronies are fans. My Little Pony TV right. series, and so I happened to play two of the characters sure. on it. So they were like, we, "How do we get Ashley Ball at the convention?" And I was like, "Well, hire the band, and yeah. then we'll play." And then we did, and it was like funny and fine, and it was. No, was it awesome there? Uh, no, it was like it was. <laughs> it was funny. And, and it was, it was funny. It was a cool experience. Kind they were crazy. very like they were super. The fans were just like excitable. It's like Trekkies, but for my little 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 pony, it's yeah. Actually, so. I don't know. It's going to be different, it. I think, tonight. Yeah, yeah we be... don't understand it either. And, like, the funny thing is, I was telling Ashley before, like, they'll talk to the band as if, like, they'll be like, yeah, like, a Princess Twilight Twarkle, Twilight Sparkle, whatever, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. <laughs> they'll yeah. just be like, blah, 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 about the show. And they'll be like, you know, we just, like, I'm 
never seen the show. Yeah. Like we watched half an hour of it once, the episode one episode. I made them watch it. And we were okay. like, we cool, it. like we get it that yeah. we don't like it or yeah. need it. Right. Yeah. That it may have a nice effect on some people. Sure. Yeah, it's brought it's brought some amazing It's created a really huge community totally. for these people who you know maybe didn't have a place before. Yeah. So, They've really, they found each other and it's really great. They found, found, found each other. They, have. they found each other, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. exactly what it seems like. So we're happy that if they like our music, that's great. And it's very love focused and so yeah. that's yeah. Nice. Friendship is magic. That's yeah. the whole message behind the show. Friendship, Friendship is, is magic. magic. So yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah. Um, so a little bit of a different crowd tonight. Are you guys CFL fans, football fans? No, really. Uh, to be honest. No. Football fan, NFL fan? No, I have no idea about what the what None. the thing is. The <laughs> rules or like the lines or yeah. the running. I think it's a really glamorous sport. I really football? appreciate. Yeah, I really like the the, the costumes that the players get costumes. to wear. Yeah. Nice. The tights are nice. <laughs> the tights are nice and. Those guys are really strong. They are. They are really and they strong. Run, they they run fast, good. They run super good. Yeah. 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 And Way I like. Good. I really like it when they do with the dance. The After. dance. Like, That's football. When they, what is football you watch? No, yeah, they do. When they do oh, the when they thing, score. They is that score a touchdown the point celebration. The and point. they do the dance. That's my favorite. That's part. my favorite part. You guys should commentate. Yeah, yeah we right should. <laughs> Tights guy number one runs. <laughs> runs good. Really good run. Really. Oh, no, get slammed right on the tights guy. We have a lot of respect for athletes. Sure, sure. We, I think we both grew up playing sports. And yeah. Like, not football in particular, but like you know, we both played. We both was a great um, uh, hockey player as a kid. Yeah, exactly. We both play soccer. Yeah. So we have a huge appreciation for athletes. And yeah. We love what they're doing, and we we don't do it for that for the reasons. Because there's there's always such a. It's all, they cross paths so much. Right? Athletes always want to be musicians, and musicians always say they always admire athletes. Oh, totally. Is that the case here? Would you? Yeah, yeah we had Donald Driver uh, out yeah, to, to a, a couple of, of our shows. Do you know shows. Donald Driver? I don't no. know if you're a football he, he's guy. He's an NFL player. He's okay. retired now, but I think he was up uh, Israel. Linebacker? He's, he's, what is that? He's a runner. Is he a runner? Back? He's running a runner. Back? Running back. I, I don't so. know. He was. He was a pretty famous dude in the states, yeah. and we played this festival, and he was like hosting it, and he was like. He just got on stage and started dancing to our two big wave. He's yeah. like, this is awesome. I think he probably had a bit of a crush sure. on the okay. Ashley. Oh, wow. I yeah. think so, wow. personally. He compared us, he was like, talking about Justin Bieber. And he's like, this is like my favorite Canadian band. <laughs> Justin yeah. Bieber, which is... Hi, how are you? It's interesting, yeah. We're like, but, um, but yeah, close. he, I don't know. He was just like, excited about our band. So That's there's awesome. a crossover. Anyway, yeah, so we go. have so we have yeah. one football Donald Player Driver. Fan. Yeah, yeah good, Donald Driver. Run good, tights. Yeah, he was likes so. Our music. He's like a TV personality now. I think he's Is he really, really like. He's just really jovial and yeah, yeah outgoing and really, yeah, yeah, great smile. Sweet. Yeah. 